guys, so on this day, I went to two estate sales and this thrift store. <laughs> that little bit of footage there was the first estate sale I went to. This thrift store was a new-to-me thrift store. It was near one of the estate sales that I had scoped out. It was called New Life Thrift in Garland, Texas. And the first thing that I saw when I walked in was a bunch of Christmas. Um, I did spend a while going through all of this. There's a little bit of Halloween. Um, I picked up a few things here. A lot of it was just not anything that I, you know, would want to try to sell in a live sale. Um, but it was kind of neat to check out a new thrift store, you know. There were um, things I hadn't seen before. Um, I had fun walking around like I always do at any thrift store. It was not crowded, so that was nice as well. Like I said, they're just boxes of Christmas. Okay, so this, I end up getting this. I got this probably for eBay or for a Christmas sale. Don't know which, but I will be having Christmas sales with Gina Vintage Digs at some point in the future. But this was a Harley Davidson ornament, so I did go ahead and pick that up. Um, there Rick is showing it to the camera. He was a great help to me over the weekend. So special shout out to Mr. Rick. Um, there were a lot of like handmade ornaments in this box. Some of them were really cute, but um, I didn't get any of those. Wasn't sure if you guys would be into that or not. Um, that swan was cute. Or no, I'm sorry, it was a dove. Uh, there were some cute ornaments that were not vintage. Um, I'm not sure that box is 25 cents each. I wonder if it was just donated like that because they were not 25 cents each. Um, there were just bins of it. Um, I think that maybe they just hadn't had time to put everything out yet. Um, maybe there were a lot of donations made, uh, you know, over the weekend. I'm not sure. So those were some new bottle brush trees. I thought about getting them, but I ended up not getting them because I wasn't sure if you guys would be interested in that. Um, because I know you can buy them, you know, pretty much everywhere during the holiday season, I think. I want to say those were from Michael's or, you know, another one of the um, design stores or design companies. I cannot remember now that I'm re-watching it. But like I said, I went through them. Like, should I get those? Should I not get those? Just decided not to. There were some weird things in this store as well. I think we do get some of them um, on film. There's a little uh, plastic tiki. Um, there's a witch. I think she was like a bottle. Not sure what those were. Um, <laughs> some of these items you can get like at Dollar Tree and, you know, dollar stores. There was a plastic skull. He was kind of cool. Um, let's see. This was the candle section. I don't think I find, found anything over here. I was checking it out. I, you know, I was thinking, oh, maybe, maybe Lucite candles will be here. <laughs> don't know why I was thinking that because... No, I have never found any in the wild. I don't see them at antique malls. Okay, so these were interesting. Now, this was like a mare lion, like a mermaid lion, and he had water coming out of his mouth, as you can see here. Um, these were all made in Singapore. I thought they were kind of cool, and I thought about getting them. Um, there were other animals. There weren't only the lion made mare lion. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. There were some other animals in there as well. There were other colors too. Um, yeah, that was a dog. So this dog I, I had with me for a while. These were not priced, so I had no idea how much they were. So I was kind of carrying them around until the end. And they were priced a little bit too much for me to, to try to resell. So they went back. If you think they're cute and you'd like one, let me know. I'm happy to go back. But, um, you know... As a general rule, I don't like to buy things that I, I can't at least double my money on. And I wasn't quite sure about those. So, I put them back. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just going through the animals still. I think that was a pig. There were pigs, bunnies, dogs. I don't remember seeing any cats. I'm sure there probably were, though. And like I said, they came in different colors. There was blue, there were orange, I think there were reds. There were a few bins of them. <laughs> we were trying to figure out what that monkey does. Um, yeah, he was kind of creepy. He wasn't meant to be Halloween creepy, but he was. I took a moment to look over these butterflies. Um, you know, they're just like a foil print. The, the frame was really cheap, so I ended up putting them back. Um, they were really cheap, though, guys. They were like a dollar. So 
Maybe I should have gotten them. I don't know. They look to be from the 80s based off of the frame. I'm not sure what that means. Bad cowboy go to my room. Does anybody understand that? I looked at that for a while and I was like, I, I don't get it. I should have Googled, Googled it maybe, but I didn't. Um, those were some Disney Aristo cats <laughs> frames, vintage, but I don't really deal in Disney and I don't know what to pick up. And at this point, I think I'd already been to two, yeah, I'd already been to the two estate sales and I was kind of running out of steam. Um, so I really didn't feel like pausing to, to comp something like that. Um, had they been super cute or, you know, something I knew was rare, I would have. So there's like a little fondue pot or chocolate pot. Um, <laughs> didn't have a lid though, so I did not get that. I did look for the lid for a little bit because I thought the pot was really cute, but I never found it. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure about that print. Clown alert! Clown alert! I forgot there was a clown in that. Sorry. Um... That glass was kind of interesting. There was just one, as you can see there, like an art glass, martini glass, probably. Um, I looked through the mugs. I looked through the glasses. Uh, they just, they didn't have anything, you know, for resale. So I didn't get anything in this section. And those were all plastic. They kind of fooled me. I was looking at that and I thought, are those plastic? They have to be glass. They were plastic. There's a Mar Mary Inglebright um, picture. Don't know much about her either. I know that a lot of people do collect her. So if that was something I should have gotten, let me know in the comments. And there was just some fabric I was going through. They had a bunch of these. So if you collect vintage patterns, there was some simplicity and McCall's in this box. A lot of them from the 60s and 70s. Let me know. I can go back and look for you. Um, I have picked up patterns in the past. As you can see, there were a lot there, and I just wasn't quite sure what, what to look for. So I left them there, thinking I could always go back if I needed to get some patterns. And that was kind of like the knick-knack section. Didn't really find anything in there. Um, those poor, poor horses, they lost all their paint, or most of their paint. They were um, a mold. And I'm sure somebody enjoyed painting them, but it made me sad to see them without their paint. Don't know why. And there's a souvenir piece. It's an owl from Washington, D.C. It was damaged, so I didn't get it. Okay, so I thought this mug was super cool. Um, it is a souvenir piece as well. It was from Cozumel, but it was priced a little bit too high for resale, too, unfortunately. I can't remember if it was five or ten, but um, I had to leave it behind. Hey, anybody want some celery? That's celery, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a ceramic celery bunch uh, I guess for your kitchen if you'd like to decorate with ceramic fruits and veggies that might be something you're interested in um, this picture was pretty but look it had been repaired there on the spout so didn't even bother to pick it up and see what it was because it was it was damaged more knick-knacky kind of things and I didn't really see anything in there <clears throat> excuse me that was the wood section um, going through the vinyl, there's some John Denver. Most of the vinyl was Christmas vinyl, which leads me to another question. Are you guys interested in vintage Christmas vinyl? Because I found a lot over the weekend. I didn't get any of it because I wasn't quite sure. Um, but that's something I can definitely look out for if you're interested in that or if you collect it. That was like an independent label from New York. Um, can't remember uh, pr prog rock maybe oh I thought this cover was really cute this a little drummer boy almost got that one isn't that a cute cover looks like it's from the 60s all the vinyl was down in this basket on the ground so I did go through it I like I said I didn't get anything there's all the Christmas though I do have a lot of vinyl myself so I always like to, to take a look but I didn't get any vinyl this time and they had some books. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that kind of short, kind of random shopping um, experience with me. I'm going to call it an experience because it was an estate sale. It was actually two estate sales last weekend, as well as a thrift store that I had never been to before called New Life Thrift. Um, I did find a few things there, but the bulk of these items I did find at the estate sales. 
It was really cool because I found one that was not advertised. I just happened to be driving through the neighborhood. They were not on estate sales. EstateSales.net. I just happened to see them when I was driving around. Oh, also, I did get a couple things from a garage sale, too. Um, I forgot all about that. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough cash, but I may try to go back to that neighborhood next weekend because I think it might be a situation where they do garage sales a lot. They had a lot of really cool shoes, um, brand new Converse and Vans. Uh, I was thinking about Christmas presents, maybe for myself, maybe for my niece. Um, but yeah, if I'd had enough cash, I would have picked up some, some shoes too. Always want a good deal on shoes. Um, I do have a bit of a, a shoe fetish. I know a lot of you do. So I know I'm not alone. Okay. So I don't even know where to begin. Where should I begin? I do want to start off by saying, if you see something you're interested in while watching this video, you can always reach out to me. I've had a lot of people do that. And um, otherwise, it may show up on a live sale. It may show up on eBay, depending on what the item is. So if you see something you like, definitely let me know. It's first come, first serve. Um, I always go by the time. So if you leave a message on this video, which is fine, um, or you send me an email, calypsoantiques at gmail.com, or you DM me on Instagram, calypsoantiques, um, I will go by uh, the timestamp, and that's how I'll determine who the first person is to claim the item. I think most of you already know that, but I thought I would mention it um, Again, just in case, and all that information will be at the end of the video. So, this is everything I got. Oh my gosh, guys. So, as you can see, a full table, but I decided to get it all on here instead of doing two hauls. So, I hope you like all this. I'm telling you, it's still beginning to look a lot like Christmas in the Dallas area. Um, I kept finding it everywhere. There was a huge section at that thrift store that I went to, and I did pick up a couple of vintage... Santa's there, which was really neat. Um, it's really rare that I find those anywhere but at an antique mall. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. I do want to say that these glass ornaments have already sold. Um, I just wanted to put them up here so I could show them. Um, these, I, I have not tried to date any of these yet. They're all glass and they're all in their original packaging. Um, there is an original sticker here for $2.49. I'm assuming that is before a barcode. It has to be, um, so it's pre-1977, no matter what. But the box has really cute graphics, as you can see here. And it is a jumbo pack of 15 gold glass ornaments. And shooting over here for a second, um, I did get another box. This is Noel brand. And these ornaments are also in their original box. There's not a barcode on these either. Um, I do believe they're pretty old like the others, but I'm not exactly sure how old they are. So, like I said, they've already sold. So if you're interested in those, I'm sorry, but they are already taken. Okay, let me just start over here because I have to. Because look at these bovines. Look at these cows. Um, so one of the estate sales that I went to... Um, Someone in the house had collected cows, and a lot of them are gone, but there were some cuties left. Um, so I got this pair of black and white cows. Um, I'm pretty sure they're probably made in Japan. There is no marking on either one, and I guess this one is a bull. Maybe not, but this one does have um, a loop or an, a ring in its nose. They are so cute. Look at these eyebrows. I mean, eyelashes. So, so cute. These are bigger figurines. And they're really nice. Um, they've got a nice weight to them. They're definitely not um, cheap in any means, by any means. Guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. I have not been able to talk recently. I'm just tongue-tied all the time. Okay, and then I got these cows because I had to. Um, I have had these cows before and I have sold them. These are in great, great shape. The ones I had before were not as nice as these. Um, these were very well loved and very, very well taken care of. They are uh, vintage made in Japan figurines. Um, I, I'm not quite sure what they're doing, guys. What do you think? First, I thought they were wounded. Then I thought maybe they were a present. I, I just don't know because maybe they're bundles of joy. Are they baby cows? Um, this one has a white bow or blanket on it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yellow. Both of them do. I'm sorry. I thought one of them was pink. Um, 
but aren't they adorable? They're so cute. Here's the bottom of this one. This one is more of a brownish color. Look at those wonky eyes. I just love you, wonky-eyed cow. Um, they're so cute. So I got those, and I got this larger cat figurine. This kitty is so cute, guys. Um, this is a Made in Japan figurine as well. This is a larger kitty. I love the glaze on this. I love the sweet kitty face. Look at those eyes. So sweet. There's remnants of a sticker on here. Um, I haven't researched to find out who made this cutie, but how cute is that? You know, if it's a cute cat, I'm going to get it, no matter what. Okay, so I'm not going to try to lift this, but this is Fenton, and this is a very large Fenton hobnail milk glass basket. It's an amazing shape. It might be a little bit dusty, so if you see dust, I apologize. Um, I did clean it once, but it needs to be cleaned again. Um, here is the handle. Um, I just think this is just a really, really pretty piece. Again, this is one of the larger um, Fenton baskets, and it's beautiful. No damage on it whatsoever. I've been getting more milk glass because I think it's perfect for the holidays, perfect for Christmas, perfect for winter. It can take you in all the way through February if you want. Um, if you have snow on the ground, I just think it's perfect. Okay, I've got this vintage angel, and she does light up. She has a bisque. I do believe it's a bisque. A bisque or a porcelain face. Um, she's adorable. Look at her lashes. Here is all this. Um, the wire and the lights down below. I love her. Um, she's in very good condition considering how old she is. Here is the back. So I was really excited to find her as well. And like I said, I mean, it's like Christmas extravaganza in the DFW area. I'm sure that's everywhere, but I was shocked at how much I found over the weekend. Okay, also picked up her, and I do believe she is Jasco. She's probably from the 80s or 90s. Pretty sure I haven't looked her up either, but she is an adorable, maybe she's Mrs. Claus. Um, her bonnet kind of makes me think she might be from the 70s, but I'm not sure about that. She's got a mouse and a kitten here. There's some yarn, but isn't she adorable? Just love her. She's a candle holder. And again, remnants of a sticker, so I'm not quite sure, but I can definitely find out who makes her and how old she is if you're interested. There's the back. No damage on her either. Then next to her is this adorable shepherd or shepherdess. I think it's probably a female based on the eyelashes, but who knows? I would not judge if it was a boy. It's just super, super cute. I wish there had been a sheep with it, but I had to get it anyway. So, so cute. And I want to say that this one is marked as being Jasco. Okay. I'm trying to get her to focus. There we go. Maybe it wasn't her. Made in Taiwan. Yeah, I do think she's Jasco, though. Pretty sure. I picked up a few Jasco Christmas figurines, and it kind of looks like their quality. Okay. I got these two salt and pepper shakers. I don't think they're vintage. I just thought they were cute. Mrs. Claus and Santa like her mouth. I'm not sure if she's smiling or she's kind of talk back to Santa, give him some lip. I'm not really sure, but I thought they were kind of cute. Um, they do have their plastic stoppers. Again, I don't know who makes them. I don't know how old they are. I just thought they were cute, so I went ahead and got them. It's interesting because there's some crazing on both of them. It's not like major, but yeah, I guess they probably are older. I just don't know. Okay, speaking of not knowing, I got this one as well. This is another um, ceramic salt and pepper. This one is super cute. This is a snowman. And what I love about this is that his top hat fits on top. <laughs> Here are the holes for the shaker there. And there are those. I'm assuming this one is pepper. The black top hat would be pepper. That kind of makes sense, right? Um, but isn't he cute? I'm sorry. I'm trying not to block out the light. Again, no idea who makes him. Just thought he was cute. Okay, so I put a couple things out here that I wouldn't normally show, um, you know, because I primarily do sell vintage at this point, but I thought, you know what, why not? I'm going to show some things that I bought for eBay. Um, one of them is this, and if you're interested in this, it doesn't have to go on eBay. You can always reach out to me. Um, I got a Harley Davidson ornament just because, you know, Harley Davidson is always hot. I know nothing about this. 2002. Oh my gosh, it's vintage. Um... You know, it was in good shape, and it was Harley, so I went ahead and picked that up. 
Um, I also got this corgi, and I'm not sure if he will go. Well, he might go on a Christmas sale. I'm not sure. I don't think he's vintage, but I thought he was really cute. He is a glass ornament. Um, it looks like he's from 2010 here. It looks like somebody, um, you know, did put the date on the bottom, which I think is cool. And I do believe it's a corgi. It has to be a corgi, right? Um, I like his glitter. I like his little top hat. And I just thought he was super cute. So I picked him up as well. If you're a dog lover or a corgi person, you know, if you'd like this, certainly reach out to me. Okay, I also got these two Santas. Now, I love a Santa with a sweet face, and I just had to get these two. Um, these are ornaments. I do believe this is ceramic. Um, I'm not sure what that means, 193. I don't know if it's like a mold number or a model number of some sort. I just thought the Santa was cute, so I went ahead and got him. And then I got a bigger one. Um, this one is like a, a resin um, instead of being ceramic. But is he not adorable? Look at that face. Santa's just so happy. Um, here is the back. This one's from 95, so that's vintage too. It's really hard for me to accept that, guys. It makes me feel so old when I see that, and I think, oh, it's vintage? How is that possible? Okay. So I also got these two vintage Santas, and both of them need a little bit of TLC. Um, this is a plastic-faced Santa. Look at his face. Um, he is missing a boot. That's what it was on him. He's missing a boot. But other than that, he's okay. And I know a lot of you do um, wreaths and assemblages, so I went ahead and got him because I know that somebody could do something really cute with him, and he he's adorable. I, I love me some vintage Santa. So there is this one. I also got this one, and this one is also old as well, probably mid-century. Um, he also has a plastic face. He is missing uh, the little um, ball on his hat, but other than that, he's pretty good. He has his boots. <laughs> he just needs something fixed there. So again, I got these because they're vintage and they're cute, and I know that somebody could fix them up. Okay, a diamond is forever, guys. And if you don't think so, you're crazy. Okay, so I got this. This is Neil Diamond. He is the diamond that is forever. Um, okay, so fun fact, I've seen Neil Diamond several times in concert. I love him. Um, my mother loves him. We had a, a family tradition of my brother and I taking her to see Neil Diamond whenever he came into town, and it's kind of continued. Unfortunately, he is no longer touring, and I saw this at a garage sale, and I had to get it. I knew right away it was a tour book. I knew it was not a, you know, an insert from a record, because I have a lot of tour books. This is from 1980, guys. So, this is from Neil's 1980 tour, and I do believe it's right after The Jazz Singer, which is one of the greatest movies of all time. I just want to go ahead and say that. Um, it's got these amazing pictures. It has the lyrics to my favorite Neil song, I Am I Said. And there he is in New York, probably in his Brooklyn apartment. Not sure about that, but I have a feeling that's where he is. For those of you that don't like music or Neil Diamond, you can just skip past this part. Maybe I'll go ahead and put the, uh, the timestamp in this video. Um, so it has all this information about the tour. It has amazing pictures like that like those um and it talks about the jazz singer in here which i thought was kind of cool and i forgot that lucy arnaz was in this until i was flipping through this i was like oh yeah that's lucy arnaz i don't know how i forgot that i guess i need to see it again it has been a while um so i thought it was cool that no long not only is it a tour program it is also a little booklet about the movie The Jazz Singer. So here is his band back in the day. Um, I have not comped this. I have no idea if it's worth anything. I will most likely keep it because I did not see Mr. Diamond in the 80s. Did I? No, I think the first time I saw him was in the, eight, the 90s. So anyway, here is this. Amazing, amazing tour program. I couldn't believe it was like in a, a box with other dirty books. I was like, what is that? This amazing hairy chest are poking out and I had to get it. Just had to. I may have gotten a couple weird looks, but I didn't care. Okay. I think we finished Christmas. I 
do believe so. So let me go over here. I got this amazing wall art. Um, this is, gosh, chalkware. And it's an owl. It's a very 1970s owl, if you ask me. Uh, I like this brownish with gold <laughs> dry brush look on it. Um, i trying to remember if there's any information on the back. Is there, is there, is there? There is. Looks like Norman. Norman did this. Norman did a great job, don't you think? Um, I love this owl. He probably will go on my gallery wall with my other owls that you see in my live sales. Um, unless you're really, really, really interested in him, you can reach out to me. Um, but yeah, I just, I had to get him because yeah, he's a really cute, adorable owl. I'm not going to pass that up, ever. Never have too many owls, right? Okay, so one of the estate sales had a bunch of pigs as well. Now, I don't know if these pigs are vintage. I don't think they are. If they are, they're probably like from the 90s, but they're adorable. Look at this black and white pig. There's a little bit of paint loss right there, but I'm going to try to touch that up myself. This pig has a hat on with a flower because, you know, that's what pigs do. They, they go around with straw hats and, and flowers. There we go. Sorry, guys. I was trying to get it to focus. Um, I got two more pigs. Now, these do have a marking on them. These are Harvey Knox Japan. So, these probably are vintage. This is another black and white pig. I know there's a term for these pigs when they're this coloring, but I can't remember what it is. But is that pig not adorable? And he came with this other uh, white pig. So cute. This one is also Harvey Knox super cute um yeah these are ceramic um this black and white large pig is not okay so i went ahead and got this poodle i do have one of these myself um this poodle is so cute i had not seen one with this little uh leash on it before i'm not quite sure if it's a, a handmade thing that somebody put on there but it's just this little redware um japan poodle super cute he goes with some other poodles that i have just a crazy wonky looking poodle, so I had to get him. Okay, then I got this beautiful brass piece. Um, this is intended to be hung on the wall, but you could, of course, put it wherever you want. It has these beautiful birds on it. Um, trying to get it to focus. There we go. If I could hold it upright, maybe you could see. I'm not sure if they're phoenixes or if it's probably a phoenix or it's a really beautiful um, peacock. I'm not quite sure. It's a phoenix, I think. What do you guys think? Um, and it is, like I said, it's brass, made in India. Has the hook here, if you wanted to hang it. I just thought it was really pretty. And I love brass, so I had to pick that up. And I got some jewelry. I got this gold-toned zebra brooch. I just thought it was cute, so I went ahead and picked that up. And I got this vintage piece. Now, they told me at the estate sale that this was a brooch. I do not believe this is a brooch. I think this is a fur clip. Um, I just thought it was really pretty with these stones and the roses. I, I don't know. There's just something about it that I really liked. Um, but again, I think it is a fur clip. Let me show you the back and you can tell me what you think. Okay, guys. And here is the back. And obviously, this does need to be cleaned. I have not tested this yet either this yet either um so i'm not quite sure this will definitely require some more research and a little bit of grime removing but i had to get it i thought it was really really pretty i like the details i like the design of this just really nice then i got this now i don't know that this is vintage it's probably not but i thought it was cute um, this is another brooch and it's um, a pair of glasses and there are rhinestones on it I just thought it was really uh, unique. It is kind of a bigger piece. I just thought it was cool. So I got that. I did get that at a garage sale, surprisingly enough. And then I got this too. Um, this is very pretty as well. It has these uh, faux pronged pearls on it. I'm not sure the age of this one. It needs a cleaning too. I just thought it was pretty. So I had to get that. Okay, I think I've gone over everything except for one last thing that I know some of you will really really think is cool okay i got this princess diana book and it's from 1982 excuse me while i move everything okay just love her i love that cover 
I haven't really like sat down to read this yet, but just flipping through it brought back so many memories. I remember when she and Charles got married. Um, I can't remember if we saw it in school or if I was allowed to go home. I don't remember, um, but I do remember seeing it live. So um, it started making me think about my childhood in the 80s. You know how all that goes going down memory lane, but this book is amazing. It's in really good shape too, guys. Um, it has information about ordering, ah, um, Diana and Charles <laughs> merchandise from back in the day. I just thought this was really cool. Um, that's a great picture. Look at that dress. It's so 80s. But this is, it's about 32 pages. And, you know, it's just filled with amazing photos. And I know a lot of you do collect, um, you know, royal vintage items. Some of you collect Diana specifically. So when I saw that, I was like, I have to get that. And again, it's just in great shape. Somebody really took care of that as well. Okay, I'm gonna start banging things around so I don't break anything. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and the kind of eclectic shop along that went with it. Again, two estate sales and a new to me thrift sale, thrift store. Gosh, okay. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow night. I have my late night sale with Gina. She is Vintage Digs. Please make sure you follow her if you don't already. We go on at 1030 Eastern, 930 Central, and 730 Pacific. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Don't forget to like and leave a comment and share. Okay, guys, take care. Love ya.